Brothers and sisters, there are many Christians today who think they are saved while they are not saved. And I want to ask these Christians today, I want to ask anybody who is listening to me, that if you think you are saved, what is the difference between you and the rest of the world? What is supposed to happen when you get born again? when you truly become a child of God. And I want to tell you today, brothers, that if that doesn't show uh, clearly in your life, if your life is not different from other people, from unbelievers, then that means that you are just deceiving yourself. And a lot of people today are in that state. They think that they are saved, that they are Christian, but deep down they are not saved. I want to read to you today from Romans 2. This is verse 1. Paul says, Therefore you have no excuse, O man, every one of you who judges, for in passing judgment on another you condemn yourself, because you, the judge, practice the very same things. We know that the judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Do you suppose, O man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance. But because of your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. He will render to each one according to his works. Now, I want to say something to the Christians who think they are saved. Let's put doctrine aside. This passage, I'm reading that to you, to tell you that if we look at other people, unbelievers, and we see sin in their lives, and we start saying to them that they have to stop and start judging them, that if they continue that way, they will be damned for eternity. If we are doing the same things, if we are continuing in sin, if we are not stopping pornography, adultery, fornication, if we are still living in these things, that doesn't mean that we are better than them. That means we will end up being lost for eternity. The Holy Scriptures everywhere, they speak of that. They say that if we want to be saved, if we want to make sure that we are going to end up in the kingdom of God, we have to live our Christian life in obedience to God. There is no salvation without obedience, without turning away from wickedness and from sin. Make no mistake, brothers, today we see a lot of uh, doctrines out there, and all of these doctrines, most of them, are geared toward one objective, the devil is trying to do, and that is to convince Christians that they don't have to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. They don't have to turn away from sin. They don't have to live in obedience in order to be saved. Many of these doctrines are geared toward giving people a false sense of security and comfort while they are not saved. So it is an illusion that many people are living, they think that they are saved, but there is no evidence in their lives that they are saved. Jesus Christ said that we are not part of the world, that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We need to be separate. We need to have a life that is completely different from unbelievers. If we claim to be believers, yet we live the same sins, we engage in the same things. We are busy with the same things, with our selfish ambitions, with self-seeking. 
then we are just as the rest of the world, not busy with the kingdom of God and with following Jesus Christ. Today, brother and sister, I plead with you to make sure you are truly following Jesus. Make sure he is on your mind and he is a priority in your life. Otherwise, you will stand before Jesus Christ, but it will be too late. You need to make sure that you are truly saved, truly born again, and truly abiding in the faith of Jesus Christ, in repentance and in obedience. And may God bless you.